what's up, Ed Data and Dating YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of people are on YouTube talking about things they checked out at GitCon and other places. And one of the big things they've been checking out are Harley Benton guitars. There's a lot of guys out there really raving up the Harley Benton stuff. Bang for the buck. This is a Harley Benton BT Series uh, 3 single coil Strat guitar. This is going to be the first time you heard it through the Blues Junior. <laughs> some pedals set up here but these this guitar plays really really well it's got a oh I'd say a soft soft C shape uh, I think it's a 12 inch radius it's got nice frets on it the fret work is excellent uh, and it's got this real thick maple fingerboard if you can see that attached to the top of a maple neck it is lacquered so it's it's a little bit sticky but that's just durable it's got Wilkinson single coil pickups Wilkinson bridge it's got the vintage style tuners but they, they seem to work real well. Uh, here's the bridge pickup. I call that number five position. Here's number four. Bridge in middle. And that's got that good... country. Here's a middle pickup, position I don't use too often, except on my Sumerian Cobalt guitar. <laughs> Got some bite. Number two position, these two. Again, that. It's not real heavy. 
a lot of people are talking about hardware and how it affects the sound of a guitar. And I was having a discussion the other day about hardware. I said, you know, nobody is bringing up functionality. Whatever the tone is, all right? If you can't tell the difference in tone from a plastic nut or a tusk nut or a bone nut, then fine. I don't think I can. But if you can't tell the functionality difference, then you're not paying attention. The plastic nut on my Les Paul bound up constantly. We filed it. It's, it's soft plastic where it should probably be a lot harder and the strings would just cut in and bind. And I'm not sprinkling goo in there and putting graphite and making it look all nasty and dirty up there. We put a bone nut on it, problem solved. You know, done. Uh, we were talking about Telecasters. And these kind of saddles, these vintage, and these are real cheesy ones. I don't even know who makes these ones. But this kind of crap, this soft metal after a while, gets a burr on it and causes the strings to break. But if you take something like these Wilkinson brass compensated saddles, they don't do that. Regardless of how they sound, they function. The same with tuning keys. I don't believe the tuning keys are going to change the sound of the guitar. But they're going to change the playability and functionability of it, which overall is going to make a difference. Okay? Inexpensive isn't always bad, but expensive feels nice, usually. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you spend a bunch of money and you get crap. So I got a little loop set up here, and uh, we'll just go through some of the sounds on this.
so you know this I believe was right around 199 bucks I think I'm not sure I have to look it up but you know for a go-to guitar for taking the open mics, taking out the play, doing small gigs and stuff. It's great. This, this has been the guitar that I primarily take to rehearsal. And I've been using it since I got it for rehearsals. So all the songs get practiced on this first before we play it. show off my Harley Benton and if you are looking for an inexpensive quality guitar that's fun to play check them out man I am really interested in the Les Paul like the one that Tone King got awesome guitar man he played it and it sounded phenomenal so all right keep that in mind uh, Harley Benton this is Ed, out with the old end of the new. Until next time, hang in there.